played more of uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. Um, it's not stoked on it. Like I said, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's not great. Uh, it's a B game, but I've had fun with it. Um, uh, what made it fun for me is I said a minute ago that I, I had been streaming it on PS4. That has actually made it more fun. Just kind of having feedback with people and kind of laughing at certain parts and, and talking with people on like, yeah, what should I do next? Or, you know, You're going that kind of thing. I wasn't super, yeah, I wasn't super motivated to play it just on my own, but for some reason streaming it has been a lot more fun. Hmm. Um, I kept calling, I kept saying it was not as good last of us. Uh, and, um, I had a lot of people telling me that that was just, well, don't play it like last of us. It's not meant to be played that way. Even if, even if you don't, even if you throw away like how you play it or the game mechanics, you're a grizzled old man in flannel leading a little girl around. Like, like, like you could look at a picture of it and go, is that fucking last of us? So I, I don't, I don't really think that's the With issue. Bottles, uh, I think it's, and bricks. yeah, I think there are a lot of things that work beyond just a few gameplay mechanics. Yeah. Uh, and it definitely, the mechanics are to be played as you played last of us. Cause when yeah. you're, when you're going through the single player story, you're, Best bet is to go as the little girl, so you yeah. can see where the enemies are. Yeah, yeah. Then you fucking nail him with a brick, switch to Barry, because yeah. I've got uh, skills to where he, after a character switch, gets like a 30% critical increase, and you knock the motherfucker in the head, yeah. and you just melee the shit out of everyone. Sound right, Sean? Sounds absolutely right. <laughs> right. Skills, but, but, but in skills. general, like... Don't I'm... let these cretins tell you how to play your game. I'm still having fun playing it, just in terms of... It, I don't know, it's... Fun. It's it's it, you know the exploration and the you know it's it's got some fun gameplay and stuff like that. It just doesn't have a soul to it. It's very like who am I even really fighting? Like I don't. It, there's just um, I I I honestly wish they would have titled it something different so it wasn't a follow up. Revelations one was really unique and great uh, for what it was, but but uh, two is just it just really feels like marketing and. Uh, I, it's still fun, but, uh, man, if you had an issue with DMC for them making every line profanity or whatever that was, uh, <laughs> this game that, uh, what's her name? Moira. Moira likes to swear. Every other line. Well, honestly, it's a lot of characters too, but mainly her, this fucking place, this fucking place is shit on a stick. She's got a mouth oh, this her. fucking place. Yeah. At one point she says she calls someone a shit stain and then sees the little girl there and says, "Oh, I'm sorry, butt stain." And Whoa, then she go, okay. and then she turns around and goes, "And you know what we do with butt stains, right?" <laughs> and I'm I said, and I told everyone in the chat, no, like, this is butts. a written piece of dialogue in the spoilers. <laughs> like, I'm not there this yet. This is uh, sorry, I really haven't uh, played the game, but I'm we we flubbed that. Can we get another recording of you know what we do with butt stains? <laughs> I'm just imagining that day in the booth, you know, wow, yeah. recording such choice lines. Moira is my choice uh, raid mode character that I've been leveling up. Yeah. Um, Particular favorite of mine. Uh, I don't think there's Hell anything yeah. wrong with profanity in a game, but not when it's forced. Um, and it couldn't be more forced. And I, I was thinking the same thing, about, not with profanity, but in playing Monster Hunter, too. Yeah. I the same problem. And they're both Capcom games. I don't, so I don't know if there's... I guess there's a connection. With Monster Hunter and with Resident Evil Revelations 2, I feel like every line is trying to be a gag. Like, mm -hmm. Monster Hunter... I honestly, I want everyone build. to shut the fuck up. Yeah. When I, I enjoy the gameplay so much, but when I'm talking to people in the village, hey, hey, you want to capture a dragon? Well, what kind of dragon? <laughs> you don't look like much of a dragon hunter. I didn't mean anything by it. But I, just shut the fuck up and tell me where to go to fight <laughs> the, the dragon. I don't Rock care. Rock doesn't like the charm. Save it. Um, I really, they yeah, talk a I don't. too much in Disgaea for me That to well, me detracts from me. the charm. A, 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 a little quirk now and then. It's fine, but when every single line is a gag, that's no longer a special moment. It's better left that's, unsaid. Yeah, and um, with Resident Evil, oh my god, uh, what? What? There, there was a part I got through. I won't spoil it because I know it's ahead of where you're at. But some Evil's some guy had shitty dialogue. Some guy some guy dodges everyone being murdered and then makes a pun immediately, and it was like, dude, you've been making jokes this whole time, and like children were just about to die. <laughs> like I do not think. It's just yeah. not appropriate. Somebody, somebody murder that. Just know when to use it and when not to. The last two games I've been playing have basically been portable games that got released on a PS4. Mm. It's Typo 
and Rev- Resident Evil Revelations mm-hmm. too. So I think I give them both a lot of leeway for being like basically portables or as close yeah. to you can get to mm-hmm. being put out. But yeah, like it's got its faults. The the dialogue in it is really laughable at times. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad you're having fun with it though. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a C game, but it's fun. Oh, it's B. You know? Oh, it's last wow. level. Wow, see that's it was ooh, a B. That's heart hurtful. Like C, five D, minutes ago, whatever. it's the most. Fun oh, it's a D with now. The, it's the most fun with a Resident Evil game I've Whoa. had in a long time. Whew. Well, the standards are so low that it anything. It's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. It's not. That is true. Not in the best. It gets a U. Unsatisfactory. Right now. <laughs> um, not did not you did you actually get to play Type Zero Final Fantasy? Yeah, I I, I still haven't touched that. That was before. I wanted to like at least put a couple hours into it before I did the Final Fantasy 15 demo, right. and that's what I did, which yeah. kind of set me up for the gameplay in the demo because they're real similar. The mm. oh, there, are attack they? systems, yeah. Oh, okay. So I played just a little bit, but I'm dying to get back into it because I've just recently this weekend I finished the uh, episode Deska or however you say. That's, it. Yeah. that's right. Dis- Dis- uh, yep. Final Fantasy 15 demo Deska. I got yeah. the car fixed. Deska. Time to hit the road. Uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. The dungeon yeah. was c- cool. Yeah, but it yeah, glitched I really enjoyed me. that. Yeah, the the demo is glitchy. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that. Uh, I'm gonna kill that behemoth though, without using the. Oh, them in the company. I was like, why? Oh. No, 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 no. What they do? Dan oh. Paladin. They're all I, safe. I, John Don't kill our friend. No, game four is coming out. Whatever. Okay, good. Game four looks. That cool. game's fun. Mm-hmm. It's fucking fun. Can't wait. But that Bahamut, behemoth. That's it. Either one, you're done. Mm-hmm. Dunzo. Dunzo. Um, cool. Did you play that demo too? Rocco? Uh, what, 15? Yeah. yeah, I talked about it last week. Okay. Yeah. Um, what were you going to say? You play that demo show? No, I didn't play the demo. You play yet. Anything? Not yet. Okay. I'm Mario Party again, but I talked about it last time. But I'm really enjoying it still. Uh, hey, I wanted to say uh, there have been a lot of people asking about this. Uh, I want to say something really cool this week. Um, that has been going on is uh, we, we said something on our last podcast uh, was that we are planning on a we're planning on uh, we're obviously we stream this podcast out every week but we only s- kind of stream a couple times a week we stream this Garrett has a show every Wednesday poorly played stream and a few random things here and there in between but we're, we want to try to leave this on 24-7 and we were calling it codename Mega Sixty Four TV. We were gonna show we're gonna show our our stuff across the board, uh, our old videos, podcasts, whatever, twenty four seven, and just to have something you know you could tune into it's whenever like, yeah, you feel like surfing. it. Yeah, exactly. Or whenever, yeah, whatever you want to watch and our so, videos. And so, so we announced that last week. This week on Twitter, we asked some people to make bumpers to show to to air between pieces on the stream, and we've gotten some really great stuff. So I just say thank you to everybody out there watching. Um, our fans are so talented. Yeah, there's some, some really cool ones. There's some really good stuff, really and cool. and the amount of them. Oh my god, there's and so I, many. And I've and I've always said this, but uh, it, you know, maybe it sounds douchey to some people out there. But not to me. What I have always people? I have always thought that our fans are more are the most creative of, of a lot of things that they I know. They are. Oh yeah. Uh, they we are. have we have more people who actually make stuff. That's not douchey. It's just how it is. No, it's just, douchey. I guess if you're not if you're not a mega sixty four if you're outside fan, the group. <laughs> if you're a fan of Rooster Teeth, I guess is douchey for us to say oh, well, our fans go. are the best. We're not here to make friends though. We're here to you know yeah. create the best most artistic fan base in existence. Thank exactly. You. We've already started. That's it. Yeah. If you're a fan of, uh, you know, Epic Meal Time, you don't fall into the group we're talking about. Yeah, so sorry, maybe guys. it seems douchey. But They're if you're a fan of us, you rule. They're not watching this. Yeah. And you've Green said bacon. in the past. I know you've said in the past that we have the best looking fans too. That's true. We have some good. We have some a cute bunch. Handsome, so, handsome fans out there. You're beautiful, exceptionally beautiful. You're better looking than most people out there. You're more creative, which means that you're Dude. smarter and more intellectual. And they're posy. And you're positive. Vibes. You're a triple threat. Up. Essentially, our fans are the upper echelon. They're the alpha citizens of the internet. Yeah, you guys should feel good about yourself right I, now. I see that on such a big level in in the quantity that I see is amazing. Where, again, super creative, but you're all good looking people too. Yeah. Hey. Wow. Wow. So when you guys out there, if anybody watching this ever feels like they can't do something or I'm not good enough to do this or I'm not good. Hey. 
You're creative and you're pretty good looking. And you're positive. And, and you're positive. positive. So check your privilege. So what's your? I yeah. mean, hey, I've hey, seen you all. I know the truth. You, vibes, look, if you look in perspective, if you're single, if you're looking for a date, just remember all those things we just said and just glow. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll mm -hmm. attract the. A, or if a, you're going for the job or something, you're looking hey, for a exactly. job. Exactly. Whatever. whatever you need, just remember you're a Mega sixty four fan. That is. Desirable. That's true. You can conquer the world so, today. That's Someone the in the chat, Frog Bell Tolls or whatever I missed the name, says, the I'm, I'm ugly AF. I bet you if they submitted a, a yeah. picture or an inter or if we interviewed them in the room right now, I yeah. bet they're not really. I bet you he I looks in the mirror and thinks, ah, I'm an ugly AF. But really, because you're a Mega 64 fan, you're rugged, mm -hmm. yeah. handsome, you're right. burned. Oh, you just yeah. ooze yeah. power and strength. Yeah. I guarantee you that's yeah. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, thank you everybody for submitting those bumpers. We're going to use a bunch of them in the stream. We don't have a specific like moment. All right. And look forward to it. It's live. Whatever. Um, tonight, it's Sunday night. I'm going to do some experiments with it. And it might start tonight. Um, nice. But I know things are going to break. Imagine so, there's going to yeah. be some hiccups. Yeah. And... Please be patient, but we want to do it just because I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, so we're going to try it out. I'm sure things won't work. Let us know when it does or doesn't. You know, we're going to need feedback on it. Uh, I'm sure, th I'm positive things are going to break. So we'll try it out <laughs> and we'll up. see. Yeah, I'm just letting everybody know. Okay. Um, that's why I never wanted to set a specific time. But let's try again, it. we're going to aim tonight, hopefully get it going, see how it works and yeah. see what happens. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and I don't think it's too... People are asking if it's too late to make a bumper. It's not. No, we, we can, can always add more. Whenever, yeah, so. we can always no. add more. You can make a bumper at any time. Yeah. And it will be on, for the answer to the question, it will be on this Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash Mega64Podcast. But you can also watch it straight up. Go to Mega64.com. It's going to be right there. On the That's yeah, it we'll answer. always be streaming. Yeah. So it'll always be on the front it'll page. It'll always be right there. That's great. Uh, so anyway, be sure to check okay. that out. 